Right, sincere, <laughs> sincere apologies. I moved the phone in the clamp and uh, I just caught the off button, so I just had to restart the phone. Right, so, okay, so here's the, here's the story so far. Today I've updated the firmware on this and it has reverted it back to what I believe to be EC mode because although the, there used to be some distance marking here, here, some markings, they've gone. But that line that's running under the 90, it should be, I think it should be lower. Anyhow, we'll see what happens. So, I've downloaded the DJ Assistant, blah, 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 blah. So we shall run that, although I do believe it's installed from last time. I may have uninstalled it. I think I can remember how to do this. So let's just take a, a, a good look for reference. So what we're on at the moment, dual band. So it doesn't matter whether I use 2.4, dual band of 5.8. The position of lap line to the right of 90 doesn't change. Okay. So that is now finished. I'm not going to launch it for the moment. I don't know whether I have to. I'm just going to extract all of these files. Now, there's been a few people who've said, oh, the, the DJ IFCC file's a virus. It isn't a virus. It's It's been wrapped with an encrypted wrapper that Windows just treats as one. It really isn't a virus. So, let's connect my handset to my windows machine and i'll just disable my firewall and let's um let's run it Now, I don't know what's going on here. Huh? Remote controller already connected. Okay, not entirely sure. I know it said originally had to run this three times. So we'll launch it again.
Okay, so there we go. FCC patch installed successfully. Okay. The controller is now rebooting. I'm going to leave it connected. Okay, device is starting. I suppose I'm going to have to, yeah, just turn the drone on. Sorry about that, folks. Try and pop the remind of it, something. Right, okay, diddle. So, unable to take off, but there we go. So, if we go into transmission. Now that's interesting, look at that. So it's brought that back. That line hasn't moved. But I've still got to assume that that's still in FCC mode. At least it is now. I can't actually, well, it doesn't appear to have moved looking at that, but I don't really suppose that matters, because that's only um, dB metres. dBm, is that? So that's to do with the radio anyway. There's the frequencies, and that's the signal strength. So... <coughs> It's brought those back. So I'm going to assume that that is now back in FCC mode. But there we go. So at least you can, if you do update the firmware. So there's my firmware. Which is higher than it was originally. So at least they are true to the word and you can update it after the fact. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Now a quick word from my sponsor.